Good afternoon, guys. Good morning, wherever the heck you are. My name is Javelin, and here we got a little Wi-Fi battle over here. This is the first video on our channel, and joining me is... Tito Halo! What is going on, guys? And here we got a, a little 4th gen team going on. 4th gen versus 4th gen. Our buddy, Sparky, a line over here. He is upstairs right now, so he doesn't eavesdrop on all of my plays. But just letting you know, I'm about to get popped because he's changed his team just to crush just, my soul. Yeah, like we, we, like he literally told us because we had a problem. We tried to battle, it disconnected. So as soon as, he, as soon as we wanted to reset everything so we can get this to work, he kind of changed all the move sets. So we'll see how this battle turns out. Just to crush my soul. So I'm gonna have to go start off with just pure brute force over here. So what? Who does he have? He has um Garchomp, Rotom. Um, Luxray, what, what the fuck? We got the Mega Chomp, we got Rotom Wash, we got the Bulky Cresselia without an item. We got Floatzel over here, Luxray, and Lucario. Let's see what we got. So we're gonna start off with this Wi Fi battle. Let's see who's, um, oh, by the way, um, Javelin yeah. has to have the account Kelly because we only have one DS for the capture card, and we didn't want to mess up our Safari, so. Yeah, I, yeah, don't believe. I do not have a vagina, guys. Contrary to your beliefs, I do not. So he starts off with the guard jump. Oh, the guard jump. Oh, 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 two guard jumps. Well, fuck. Let's see what we got over here. Pick this man up with a D claw. He will outspeed me. I have no speed investment. I will see if I can live this. I, I just want some residual damage on this guy, but I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know, man. You had no speed investment in this? Yeah, no speed investment. I just want at least one good hit on him. I'm not sure if I can live this, though. I never tried this one on him. Here we go. Ah, uh, can I? Yeah, just enough. Not bad. Ah, right, so let's see if you can kill me. If you are max attacked, no. Ah, just about the same. Wow. And you're max attacked, too, right? Yep. This actually works out a little well for me. Because now I have some options with my switching over here. Yeah, he's he's definitely going to stay in. It, it's too easy. I mean, he's faster. He keeps... To be honest, I might just sack this Garchomp because this puts my choice scarf from Pardos in a pretty good position. There's nothing on his team that can really take a hit from this thing properly. Even the Cresselia. I have the crunch for that. Well, fuck. Yeah. I might just stay hmm. in. I usually love to burn the Garchomp, but... I might just say you know it's not worth it. It's about to die anyways. Yeah, I have a physical wall um drapey on, but he's not taking an earthquake very well unless he's burned. So I'm just gonna go for the dragon claw again. You're just gonna sack it out? Yeah, sack Maybe it. Maybe he what? Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. He went for the safe dragon claw too. I mean, get get some damage on your next Pokemon no matter what. Yeah, he does also. That is gonna take me out. Let's see. Does he have? He has a rotten watch, but I do have the mold breaker. Maybe you should look at the picture. We do have pictures. Shoot, shoot. I did take a very blurry picture of his team. But it's good enough. Oh, He's yeah. got Cresselia and the Rotom Wash, but I have the Mold Breaker, so that means nothing to me. And looks like Earthquake is my safest play. It hits super effective to two, actually three of his team, half of his team right there. So I'm going for the safe Earthquake. Yeah. Wait. Lucario, Luxray, and Rotom. Half of his team. But Rotom has Levitate. Yeah, but I have the Mold Breaker. Ah, so <laughs> that's right. So pretty much, I'll fuck it's life up. So he stayed in. Nice clean earthquake. Now his safest play uh, to go into uh, Float Solar Cresselia. I mean, I'm not sure if he, I want I, to... he doesn't have. I don't think he has the Aqua Jet on the Float Soul. I don't think. Well, he probably has a water move, and I am not focused actually on Choice Scarf, so I really don't want to be taking a water move. I need this red part to completely wreck his team. Let's see what we got here. He's taking his time thinking about it. Well, I mean, dude, when you, when you got plays, you got plays. Yeah. This, this team, again, just changed the movesets every time just to mess me up. He's seen my, uh, I have an agility, Natalia Berry, Empoleon. He said his floats will up with agility just to outspeed my Empoleon. Ah, he went for the floats up. Ah, the floats up. <laughs> hmm. After an agility, he's definitely outspeeding me. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Well, you gotta remember, our friend isn't really the like. Not gonna lie, whenever we try to predict something, he goes for the most obvious thing, and we over predict sometimes. Yeah, I'm just might just make the switch switch into Terminator the Rose Raid. Yeah, that seems like my best play right here. 
Why don't you go to like the double switch? Oh, that'd be messed up. Just predicting my whole soul. Ooh, the waterfall. I'm resisting that. That's not gonna do much. Wow. Oh, but he's focused. No, is he focused, Ash? No, I do not know. He does yes. have an item, but he... either his full tool or his Lucario is focused, Ash, if I remember from our last battles. Choice Bandit, maybe? God knows. Nah, not Choice Bandit. I can either go for the growth and setup, but then again, he got the Lucario, which completely walls me, so I'm just gonna go for the safe game. Yeah, just go for Yeah. Just, I mean, either way. We're, he's taking we're... damage, and I'm getting some of my health back. I am Life Orb, so I'm losing, I'm getting a little less health back than I'd like, but I'm still doing big damage. Yeah, Life Orb. Timid Rosarade over here. Oh, it is starting to pour out here. Sorry if you can hear that, guys, in the background. Ah. Yeah, okay. Nice so switch. We're, so we're gonna get a little damage. Lucario? Because... Yep. He's known from prior experience. Whoa, that did almost 50% right there. And you're gonna get most of your health back. I mean, you do lose yes. it, but your question is, should I stay in and go for it? It's a three-hit KO with my Giga Drain. He has Focus Blast. He has Close Combat. He's a mix. He has Dragon, Dragon Pulse. And his I last move, I do not know. It might be Stone Edge. And Stone Edge would definitely kill him. Are you weak to Psychic? I am weak to Psychic. Yes, I am. Not gonna lie, I think, um. Are he I, I know I know it's very uncommon for it, but just in case. Hmm. I have options here. Although I really only need Roserade for his float zone. And Polion really isn't doing much to his team. I like the whole Patea Berry set on it, but I, I look at it and Empoleon isn't really needed all that much. I might just sack the Empoleon off to get in my Rampardos to clean that up real quick. Hmm. Or I could just go for the Rotom. Let's see. Rotom overheats the car. No, but he, has, he might have Stone Edge, so. Rotom would definitely die to this guy. Like I said, I really don't think he has it. Just because he's never actually had it before. Had the Stone Edge. I, I, I'm pretty sure in the last battle, watch. I'm going to send Rotom in and see if the Stone Edge is real. Sorry, Rotom, but he doesn't really have any super strong special attackers. Oh, the Psychic! See, look at that! Chase moves sets again! Thank goodness, I'm a specially defensive Rotom. I'm eating that up. Alright. You see, I, 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 I told you. it up. Your one-stop shop for all of your kick-ass appliances. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Um, I can either go for the Volt Switch or the Overheat. He I'm just going to really, go for the safe he really, Overheat. He has the Float Soul Switch, which is pretty obvious. Or, you know what? I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. It's it's a little safer because he has the Float Soul. And if I Thunder Wave that Float Soul, it's a pretty fucked Float Soul. Yeah, just go for the safe because, I mean, you, I mean pretty much, you, you have coverage for everything. Right. Pretty much. I have coverage. My Empoleon doesn't do much to his team. Neither does Rotom, so they are very expendable. My biggest asset right now is Rampardos. Rampardos literally has a move for every member of his team. Probably one-shots them all. And withdraw. Now let's hope for that float soul. Ah, oh, his own Rotom. So, alright, not bad. So, ah, that, that, was, that was a nice thing. Nice play with him. Now the question is, he doesn't EV train all that well, so I want to stay his Rotom without speed, but then again, I am especially defensive, so I think he, I can take a Hydro Pump. And then you can Volt Switch. Yes. And, yeah. I can but, Volt Switch directly into, who do I want Volt Switching into that Rotom? <gasps> Rampardos, of course. Who else? I'm going for this Volt Switch. The hydro Pump, let's see how much this does, or if it kills anything, I get a free switch into my Rampardos. It is going to kill. Is that a critical hit? That That's is a crit. Oh. It's a crit. Darn it. That is a crit. Damn. Oh, well. Going straight into safe Rampardos now. Which? He, he has left. How many Pokemon does he have? With Garchomp is dead. Is Garchomp the only one dead on his team? Yeah. Yep. I'm we, down by one. Well, we... Well, regardless, an earthquake should do anything to anyone. Get some damage. Earthquake should anyone. do major damage. 
to anyone. And you focus should, guy would be you Kajoli. should be faster, regardless. I'm definitely faster. There's no way. You are to scar. Earthquake definitely should kill. Especially, yeah, he doesn't have this levitate anymore. So. Nice and super fast. What? Whoa! Ah, there goes my team right there. He lives in the red. I'm dead. Ah, oh, damn. What? It's a crit! Another crit! Wow, two crits in a row. What? I think I'm going down this round, guys. God, what? Did he go to Narnia yet? Almost. Alright. What? He got two crits. Oh, man, dude. You. Two crits in a row. Alright. He still has five Pokemon left. Wow, this guy completely messes me up. And he still has his physical. He still has that wall. This has got the wall Cresselia. But I do have Technician Boosted HP Dark for that Cresselia. So I might need Roserade here. I'm gonna go for the safe Giga because his Lucario does not appreciate the Giga. Even though it's resisted, it does about a three hit KO and he's already taken one hit. Which means I can finish it off. Right now your uh, best Wow. Losing Rampardos right now to that crit was pretty bad. I'm not sure if it would have lived it normally, but ah. Uh, I really thought that would have killed. I really I mean I know it's bulky, but I mean, I guess he maxed out its defenses. I mean it would make well, maybe it's a defensive Rodham. It could be. I mean, dude, it survived that much. Super effective. From well, base 165 Pokemon. Even though I am Jolly Nature, I am Max Attack Investment, though. Let's see what he goes for. He's thinking. No matter what comes in, nothing's appreciating a Sludge Bomb. Even if Cresselia comes in, I have EHP Dark. A Sludge Bomb does around. Yes, are you using Sludge Bomb right now? I thought yeah. you were going for the Giga. Oh, my bad. I meant the Giga. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to what I did. Yeah. Because his Lucario comes in on a sludge bomb pretty easily. Alright, so he went and he went to the Lucario Dirty Dan over here. Why he, why does he have no pinhead? That's so we Ah, oh, did I get a crit of my very own? Ah, it's a crit! The Justice! Not bad, alright. So get we him. got all our health well. No, the life orb. Life orb taking something, but we basically got all of our health back. That was nice. Nothing on his team is going to appreciate. However, his float is his float Zul's, uh focus sash still intact. Ah, the Cresselia. I'm going. Hmm. Oh, Cresselia has a psychic move. But does it? Right. Uh, it does not speed me, no matter what. But I don't. I don't. Uh. I don't think I can. Uh. Kill the Cresselia in one hit. Um, he still has a float soul, which I think I think your best choice would be in Mm. He yeah. does have the float soul. Yeah, but on top of that, there's a good chance that it can't really do much to the Empoleon. He has Thunder Wave. I do not want to risk my Empoleon getting Thunder Wave because I am running an Agility Pattaya Berry Empoleon, so I would really rather not a max speed investment on that. Modest nature though, so I'm going to switch into Drapion. Hopefully to at least make it a uh, three hit KO, because I'd, le I'd like to get one knockoff on this thing, because after a knockoff, HP Dark should be able to kill. It's a guaranteed on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though, get some damage off of it. And he goes for the Ice, ice Beam. beam. Alright, he must not be running a psychic move. Ah, and that is doing nothing to my Black Slip Snake. You no know, we, we still have a chance. We're down only one. Gonna go for the safe. Hmm, he is still has. Lucario is dead, actually. Yes, he so doesn't. He's down by two. He does. He, he's a Scar Trap Lucario, which means regardless, each of his Pokemon have. Ooh, but Cresselia does There's not have not an, an item, item, so I'm not getting the boost. So I'm only doing base 65. However, I am still doing double damage, which I'm still doing more with Poison Jab. And if he switches anything in, it's taking big damage. So I'm going for the knockout. Hopefully, because he doesn't have anything else, he'll go for the switch. That that would be our best luck. Get some damage off of anything. And to be honest, the only threat to his team would be uh the only threat to my team actually would be his Lucario, which is down because it is the last guy in his team with a special attack besides his Thanks Cresselia. to Terminator. Yep, good old Terminator Rosary. Not bad, not bad. And I am Impish Nature, Physical Walls, Drapion. So I'm doing. And the well. fact that we it only did that much damage to Drapion. Yep. And he can't use Psychic on me, because I am a Dark type. So this Cresselia so, looks pretty wild unless he goes for the Thunder Wave. It can only go for the... Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. The only move. Thunder Wave switch out unless he has Moonlight. I'm not sure what his moveset is on this. He can't be running Default set. I mean, we can't hope for the best. Get the Poison Jab, Poison. Yeah, but... That's too much, yeah. I'm going for the safe knockoff. 
Yeah, get some damage. Or if he does switch, like we said, get the knockoff boosted. I have almost no attacking missile, so it's not gonna do big damage, but it's something. Should do. Oh, he goes for. Ooh, oh, oh, that did. Surprising that he went for the T wave. Uh, of yeah. course, the T wave. Now he can switch. Hope for the best that you don't get the second knockoff, because there is a good chance to get that, because he knows that you are black. Um. Black Sludge, right? Yeah, I'm Black Sludge, so I'm taking anything he's got. Yeah, exactly. He, all, the I don't only think thing anyone can touch is... Actually, I think Drapey and completely walls him right now. I might just set up some Mackie Pressures, get my get an attack boost, and go for another knockoff. Maybe. It's random. And on top of that... Hmm. He, he might, might switch out, because you completely wall it. Yes. So you I might go, get a free Mackie Pressure right now. You can get a free Mackie Pressure, but you might end up... You wall everything in his team right now. Yeah, he has Lucario, uh, it's not Lucario, Lucario is down. He has the Luxray, physical. He has the Float Tool, physical. I don't think he has anything left that can touch me. He has Rodham, remember. He still hasn't lost it, it's in the red. Oh, Rodham is down, okay. So, no, Rodham is not down. Yeah, Rodham is not down, okay. So, he might end up going... Does Rodham have... Any... Ah, no, Rodham, I'm... he doesn't have, does he have the will? Oh, wait, he can't anyways, you yeah. have, you're paralyzed. He has, yeah, you're right. So I might just go for safe knockup just in case he switches. I don't think he can touch me again. And if he does stay in, I might go for knocking pressure after that. Hmm. I mean, regardless, if you do get through the para hacks, you can get um a, a nice knockoff off of the next Pokemon who comes in. They all have items. Or if I knock this down to half health, Rules of Raid would definitely be able to take oh, this out. Oh, stayed in. Went for the Ice Beam. He can't get the para uh, freeze hacks since I'm paralyzed, which is good. But at the same time, I can still get para hacks, oh, which I did not. That's gonna do half. And about half. Nice. He can't really do much. So, so Rose Raid completely destroyed this Cresselia right now. So I'm going to you they even with worst case scenario. You can go for the active pressure now. I mean he he I mean but he has to realize he can't even get the frozen off of you. Yeah, all he can hope for is parahax. So Or he might recover. Ooh. And if he does, I'm gonna go for the active pressure, maybe get an attack boost. Hope for the best. Uh, he does. Okay, so we do get an extra free. Ah, uh, Luxray. Luxray is coming in. All right. Wait. Let's see what we get here. The special defense buff. That would have been great for Cresselia, but it is useless to me right now. Special defense? Yes. Oh damn. I'm going to go for a knockoff. Knockoff. Whatever this thing is holding. What what ability does this thing have? This has rivalry. So, it is not getting any boosts off me. It is female, I am male. <laughs> so, pretty much, it's... Did he even train at everything? Because I, I, I'm for sure he got it, like, what? Like, he got it yesterday, right? Yes, he bred this yesterday. This is a brand new, fresh off the best. It's only been in a couple battles. Still wet around the ears. With its giant ears and those x-ray vision eyes. That's what? <laughs> you know that looks race can see through walls. And you're underway. <laughs> what the heck? What's he gonna do? He's taking a sweet time with this. I, I don't know. Drapion he... completely walls his team right now. It's gonna take a lot to kill Drapion, and I don't think he's running a sword dance. Unless he, unless he, the only thing he can hope for is a crit. Honestly, having his guard shot go down was the uh, biggest mistake. That was the biggest threat. Once that goes down, I can work around his team pretty fairly easily. And because of Rosaray, we did get that critical hit, Giga Dream. So now your Rosaray is back to. Almost Somewhat full gone. health, but you know that doesn't really matter because re regardless, it died. So yeah. it was going to be a two-hit KO on the Lucario, and I don't think Lucario would have been able to. Lucario was on the switch, actually, wasn't it? Yes. So yeah. I would have outsped it no matter what and killed it with a second Giga Ring. He's going to go for the Wild Charge. Does almost nothing. Antic recoil. So if nothing was focused, Ash, which we'll find out now. Wow, that's critical, critical hit again. Hit. Ooh, the King's, King's Rock. Rock. He is trying to play me with the hacks over here. All right. Now I'm so gonna... Oh my God, that Luxray took more damage than it should have because of the crit. So not bad, not bad. Very good not... on my part. I'm going for an IP pressure. Nightmare plus the special defense. Priscilla definitely can't touch me on any day. He goes for the Fire Fang. Non-stab Fire Fang. That isn't doing enough. Oh, that did nothing. Goes. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get, and special defense again. Oh, look at the right side. If Corselia comes out, Corselia, you can't touch me whatsoever. You, I'm gonna get greedy again and go for a third acupressure. I really want something I can use here. 
I mean, he, he can't do anything. The most he can, yeah, he, he's just gonna the most keep, he can do is crit. Nina, crit's definitely not killing. Yeah, look at that. That. Oh, flinch. but he does get the flinch, flinch. from the fire. Oh, flinch. he's gonna be hoping for the flinches now. Yes, that's why the king's rock. He's running a special flinching luxury. Ah, oh, I think we, we should just get rid of it now because you're right. Next turn, I'm killing it. Come on, something good. See what we got here? Ooh. Attack raise, perfect. Right, that's what I needed. That not is definitely bad, not bad. Doing. Plus two knock off is doing big damage to the rest of his team. All right, that it, it, he can't really do much. He, he's gonna keep hoping for the flinches, but just because Even of how little flinch, it does it does not matter. That's gonna kill. Yep. Plus two knock off is going to kill. Damn, that did absolutely nothing. All right, let's see what we got here. Who is Check who has he has left. He lost Garchomp, Lucario, and now Luxray. He only has between Cresselia, Rodham, and Floki. That is true. And Tenny and Tenny speaking, right now you're in a great position for a, a sweep. Because now that you have the attack boost, Cresselia is going not gonna enjoy a knockout. Knock it is not. It's definitely not. Rodham only knock has like he, it's about to die. And I am at plus four special defense. So Cresselia and Rotom can't touch me no matter and what Floto they do. And Floto is, ver is very fragile. It's fast and strong, but it's fragile. Although I do think his is Focus Sash, if I haven't already broken it yet. No. My his Focus Sash is still intact. He might set up the agility right now to put a clean sweep on my team. But I am going for the knockoff right now. Knock off that Focus Sash. He goes for the Waterfall. Wow. Focus attack is not very high, and Drapion does have base 114, I want to say, so... You can survive one more for sure. Yes. Knock that focus... And there's the focus sash, as yeah. I thought. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so... Black Sludge is going to get me some of my health back. I should be living that. Yeah, you can take one more, but then after that, I do think the Drapion will go down. The um, I mean, uh, well, if he throws out Cresselia... Cresselia is definitely dying from a HP Dark from my Rosarade. So pretty much... We got this in the bag because R Rotom's about to die, and Cresselia is lower than half. So HP Hidden Power Dark with Technician Boost, base ninety power right there. It's very strong. He goes for the ooh. The Rotom comes out. I am just gonna go for another. You kind of wall him. You do have the two plus four special defense, but can I take a hit from him? Well, the Hydro. Oh, oh let's, let's see. Find out. Stab Hydro Pump. Ah, ah it is that wasn't kill. enough. But you do out. Um, does you do? Don't you have two like two perfectly healthy Pokemon's anyways? Um, let's see what we got here on my team. You have Empoleon still and Terminator. They're both fully he healed. So I'm going straight for Terminator. Let's see. Actually, I think it's just in case. Just go for an entire Dark. It should be enough to kill it, anyways. Hmm. He might think that you're going to go for the Giga Drain just because... What's the last Pokemon? It's Rodham and what? Cresselia. Ah, you, okay. you, you pretty much... You pretty much... I think that the best true. way... Hit him, yeah, you should be able to take it out for sure. Let's go for it. Hidden Power Direct. Condition Boost. Base 90. And, you know, just in case if he switches out. I am Life Orbs as well, so it is doing big damage. It's going to do a crap load of damage. I do not think any of these Pokemon will survive it anymore. So, I do have momentum I, on my side. Indeed, you do. Indeed. So, Wait, yes! Ah, good prediction right there. Oh, okay, so that. Cresselia is going down. Cresselia, that's does. it. This game is done. We're going for the Hidden Power Dark, just like that. And it Cresselia dies. Down. That thing is so bulky, but Life Orb Technician, there's a raid with Hidden Power Dark. That did. Perfect Rick, coverage for those psychic types. So you can go for a, a perfect Giga Drain just if you want. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't, but I'm just going to go for Giga because I want some of my health back. <laughs> I'm greedy like that. You're, you're greedy? Yeah, I'm greedy. No, no, no. Oh, God. What is he thinking about now? I, I mean, maybe going for a Parahack? I don't know. So this is the end of the battle. Rodham is down. You... That is a 2 oh right there. Close, close battle. Very, Very close. close. Battle. But at the end, those crits didn't matter. It 
every single every single crit that we did here did matter from both sides? Might not have because he did switch into Lucario on my Giga Dream. Yes, but if th that Giga Dream wouldn't have killed if it wasn't a crit, it wouldn't. But I outspeed Lucario. I'm pretty sure I outspeed. I could be wrong though. Either way, we got. Either way, it, it was a good battle. Sparky Align did great. Even though he did kind of switch his moveset to beat you, he it wasn't was not strong enough. And he did get those two crits with the Rotom, which was very lucky. Yes, very two crits in a row. But uh, thanks for joining us, guys. This will be one of our first videos on Sindo Studios, and we hope you click like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later. Take care, guys.